Hayato, a first-year student of the Academy City Ship Little Garden, who is also the person with the highest 100 compatibility score of all time is heading to his college on a plane. When he lands, he hears two girls calling out his name. Embarrassed, he escapes from them, leaving the two girls with the thought that he is on a later flight. Following the GPS, Hayato arrives at the school campus where other students are standing and chatting with each other. Suddenly, a girl recognizes him and she draws everyone's attention to the guy with the all-time record. He tenses up from the attention and tries to escape them by hiding behind the wall. Hardly did he take his breath when another student hugs him firmly, after which they both fall. The student introduces himself as Emil and offers to be friends with him. All the first-year students gather in the meeting hall, where they are welcomed by Erica, the student council vice president, Liddy Steinberg, the captain of the little garden, and Claire, the president of the students' council. While they make their speech, the door opens and Noah and Liu, the girls that were waiting for Hayato at the airport, enter the hall. Although they apologize for being late, Claire decides to expel them. Before Hayato tries to say a word, Emil criticizes Claire's decision, after which Claire decides to expel him too. Hayato finally speaks in defense of the two girls, explaining that they were truly late because of him. Claire challenges him to a duel on the condition that if he manages to beat her, Claire would reverse their expulsion. After the meeting, Emil takes Hayato to Charlotte, the main technologist in the little garden and a good friend of Emil's. After introducing herself, Charlotte also introduces Mei Mei, her talented assistant, and Lisa, an autonomous computer that controls everything in the little garden. She then gives Hayato a hundred, the only effective weapon against the savage life forms, which can be used by slayers like Claire, Liddy, and Erica, humans who respond to variable stones. She goes on to explain that the hundred change into a ton of forms based on who uses them, and this is where the sentry armaments or hundred get their name from. Although the hundred take different forms and vary in their ways of fighting, they have one ultimate goal, to protect humanity. Leaving Charlotte's lab, Emil and Hayato change into their variable suits and start practicing. They find out that Hayato's hundred is the flying swallow, while Emil possessed the arms shroud. After much training, Emil is satisfied with the result and tells Hayato he can win the duel. Right after the training, Hayato gets a phone call from his sister, whom he had promised to visit in the hospital right after the entrance ceremony. Leaving Emil, he goes to the hospital and apologizes to Karen for being late. She asks for a kiss on the forehead, after which she forgives him. Returning to the dormitory, Hayato gets very surprised to see Emil in his room wearing just a towel. Emil gets embarrassed seeing him enter and demands he leaves the room. Quickly putting on his clothes, he informs Hayato they are roommates. He asks Hayato to take off his uniform so he can sew his badge back on. When sewing, Emil pricks his finger, after which Hayato gets worried and puts the finger in his mouth. Seeing Emil's surprised look, Hayato explains to him that he was mixed up in a savage attack a long time ago, and that now he can't stand seeing someone get hurt. Explaining the rules of the duel, the host invites Hayato and Claire to fight against each other. Claire declares that she will not use full-body armament in the duel, which is a fighting tactic that only a few people at the school can use. It releases a weapon's energy all at once and allows the wielder to use its full capabilities. The audience appreciates Claire's announcement with warm applause. After the duel starts, they both attack each other and the two of them fall down. When Hayato wants to stand on his feet, he accidentally touches Claire's breasts, making the latter embarrassed and furious. Claire kicks him and gives him a severe shot, but Hayato manages to create an energy barrier. It gives her a very strong blow and for a moment the crowd stops breathing as they think he defeated Claire. However, in the dusk, Claire transforms her weapon into a bastard cannon and is about to shoot at Hayato. Suddenly, Hayato's body temperature rises. He manages to defend himself from the cannon shot and his fighting moves suddenly change. His eyes turn yellow and he starts pressuring Claire. A moment later, he gets his full body armament and he starts deploying an end barrier shocking the audience and Claire. Claire also uses her full body armament and knocks Hayato out with one shot. Emil runs to help him and blames Claire for not keeping her promise of not using her full body armament. When Hayato regains consciousness, he finds the president next to his bed. Claire informs him that she cancelled the order of expelling the girls and Emil. She also expresses her astonishment and wonders how he could corner her like that. Just at that moment, Emil comes in. Seeing Claire in Hayato's room, he gets angry and thinks she wants to hurt him. Claire says she came to apologize and leaves. In the morning, when Hayato recovers, Emil and he decide to go to Central, the business district of the little garden to have lunch. In Central, Emil reveals that he wanted to go on a date with Hayato, which makes Hayato almost chalk. Emil then takes Hayato to a beach that looks like a date spot to Hayato. Just at that moment, Karen, Hayato's sister, calls him and asks if he is with a girl. To the answer no, she replies that she wants to go check it herself as there was an ominous shadow of a woman when she did some fortune telling. After a while, Karen goes to the beach and makes sure Hayato is with a guy. 
While the three of them are hanging out together, they see posters and ads of Kirishima Sakura, a famous pop star who is Karen's idol who would be having an outdoor concert on the Zui Islands that day. They go to a cafeteria to have lunch where they meet Claire, Liddy, and Erica. The president offers Hayato to join Selections, a special unit under the student council. By joining the team, Hayato is to get involved in different missions including guarding various facilities, bodyguard duties, and actual combat with savages. While Hayato is flattered by the offer, Emil asks them to employ him too. In order to show his value, she ends up in a battle with Liddy. When Emil uses his hundred, Claire gets astonished as his hundred is the Dragoon type. Liddy and Emil fight in a very equal battle until they get an alert that the savages have appeared on the Zui Islands, the place where Sakura is going to perform. When they want to leave, Charlotte suggests taking Hayato and Emil to the mission. Finding out that the savage is a Trenta class, Claire thinks that it is too dangerous for Hayato and Emil, given the fact that they have zero experience out in the field. However, she changes her mind when Charlotte informs her that it was Lisa who recommended that they participate in the mission. Developing the plan to fight these savages, Claire, Liddy, and Erica jump out of the plane. Taking out the savages' vision first, they then deploy their hundreds to slice through their cores and finish them. Following this, Hayato and Emil jump together holding hands. Firing some shots to provide a smoke screen, Emil enables Hayato to attack the core. Hayato tries several times but he is not able to get all the way to the core of the savage. Finally, Emil changes her weapon and shoots the savage's core with her arrow. In the meantime, Claire and the girls are trying to finish another savage, but they are unable to do that. When Hayato and Emil rush for help, Claire orders them not to interfere. However, Claire soon finds out that she is running out of energy and understands that the duel with Hayato affected her. While she is standing in the field, the savage raises its deadly claw and is about to kill her while Hayato saves her life. Meanwhile, Emil is trying to finish the savage but is hit after which her suit is torn and her breasts are visible. Seeing this, Hayato remembers the girl she was with when confronted by a savage some years ago. He remembers the hair, the eyes, the smile, the body, and the name. He also remembers himself sucking out the poison from her body to save her life. Now finding out that Emil was not a boy, he saves her and calls her Amelia Hermit. Amelia gets emotional when he recognizes her. Getting his full body armament, Hayato asks Amelia to leave when he is about to lose control of his power. Amelia kisses him on the lips after which he manages to destroy the core. After the fight, Claire is shocked to find out that Amelia is not a boy and agrees to keep that a secret. Instead, she orders Amelia to change rooms and not be roommates with Hayato anymore. However, the next day when she goes to see Hayato, she finds Hayato and Amelia kissing in his room. Hayato gets confused and when he tries to explain the situation, he trips over Amelia's foot and falls right on top of Claire, kissing her in the process and touching her breasts again. This makes Amelia jealous and angry. Sakura's concert that was supposed to happen on the Zui Islands gets postponed. Given the fact that there are still savages lurking on the Zui Islands, Sakura's assistant contacts the student council with the favor to appoint Hayato as Sakura's bodyguard. Hayato is surprised to find out that the pop star idol requested especially him to be her personal bodyguard. It's also informed that there are at least three more savages in the Zui Islands that were not fought during their previous mission. He then rushes to inform her sister about his special mission. Karen gets very excited about it and tells Hayato that while checking his fortune the other day, she found out that Hayato should watch out for women in water. A few days later, Hayato goes to the airport to meet Sakura, who is more down to earth than Hayato thought. In fact, she asks Hayato not to be formal with her. Very soon, she falls in love with Hayato and offers Hayato to get married to her and make the miracle couple, the diva of the world and the genius slayer who saved the Zui Islands. She then goes into detail about how everything should be organized. Awkward as usual, Hayato wants to change the topic, asking her out. Sakura gets excited but wants to have a bath first. When in the bath, Sakura hums a song and Hayato remembers Karen singing the same song. Sakura asks him to bring in the PDA so that she could record the tune. When he goes inside, he sees one more resemblance between Sakura and Karen. Both of them leave their clothes all over the floor when having a bath. Sakura suddenly opens the bathroom door and sees him tidying up. She gets confused and slips, falling down all naked. Both of them get embarrassed and Hayato remembers Karen's advice to stay away from women in water. Sakura then shows Hayato her own hundred, the fairy fairy tale. Using the hundred, she starts flying around. Hayato finds out that her type is incredibly rare. She is a field control type slayer who can create a personal field over a specific period of time and use her sense of energy to fly around and create illusions. However, she cannot create weapons. During a conversation with Charlotte and Mei Mei, Hayato finds out that Charlotte once saved Sakura's life from a tough situation. After a long day, Hayato receives a phone call from Claire, 
telling him to come to her summer house the next morning. Before that, he goes to the public baths to bathe, where he finds Amelia all alone. Amelia invites him to have a bath with her and shows him the scar on her chest that is slowly fading away. Hayato invites Amelia out for a trip to Zwei Islands. We see three people with yellow eyes are planning something against the little garden. We see Sakura thinking about her mother's words. Music has the power to make people happy. The next day, Hayato visits Claire in her summer house where he finds Claire, Erica, and Liddy in their swimsuits. Things get awkward again when Claire, without knowing that Erica had taken off her bra to apply sunscreen lotion, stands up showing off her naked body. After all the commotion, Claire asks Hayato to be more cautious in guarding Sakura as a variable stone was stolen amid the chaos that erupted when the three savages appeared on Zwei Islands. She also proposes a swimming contest, but Hayato denies it. After the awkward meeting with Claire, Hayato goes to meet Emilia, who this time resembles a cute girl wearing a beautiful dress. Hayato worries that they might be seen together, but Emilia reassures him that they are far enough from Little Garden. They go shopping together, buying presents for each other. When they want to get out of the store, they see Fritz and Rietia entering the store and hide from them until they are far. Exiting the store, Emilia wants to get drinks for themselves, and in the meantime, Hayato gets a call from Claire who tells him that Sakura has disappeared from the hotel room. However, Claire thinks that Sakura was not kidnapped but rather she left the hotel of her own free will. Just at that moment, Sakura walks to him in a completely different outfit, aiming to hide her real identity. She asks him to accompany her to a very special place for her. Forced to do work, Hayato texts Amelia about the situation. Sakura then takes him to the Grand Canyon which used to be a special place for her mother. When Sakura starts humming a song, Hayato compliments her voice and tells her that his sister also used to sing that song. Suddenly, Sakura remembers that when her mother died, she met two siblings in a shelter who praised her ability to sing which became a motive for her later to build on her singing skills. The siblings thus changed her whole life. Realizing that the siblings were Hayato and Karen, she tells him the story and both get emotional. Sakura goes on by telling him about her past, explaining that after her mother died, her father, whom she had never seen before, came to get her. Shortly after that, she was taken back to her father's homeland and she became ill with an unknown virus. Sofled, her assistant, used to be a genetic engineer who was in charge of her at first. But she did not get better at all. Instead, she lost her voice and was not able to sing anymore. Her father, without asking Sofled, sold her off to a Warslorn research facility, where she and other children were injected with a vaccine made from savage fluids, under orders from the director of the lab, Vitali. This fluid cured Sakura, but they continued doing it, no matter the side effects. Vitali's goal was not to cure illness, but to artificially turn humans into slayers. There Sakura sang to calm the children down. One by one, all of them died, leaving Sakura, who was rescued by Suflat and Charlotte. However, even though she is a hundred, Sakura is unable to fight savages. After listening to her story, Hayato confesses that he is a variant too, although he became one by accident. In the evening, Sakura and Hayato get on a bus to go back to Central. On the way, the bus is struck down by a savage. As it raises its deadly claw, Sakura and Hayato are right in the way. While Hayato is trying to fight against the savage, Claire and the others are trying to identify his location. Meanwhile, they also request assistance from any slayers that are close by the location and hope that Hayato will hold it off until reinforcements arrive. With Sakura's strong defense, Hayato is able to stop the savage. Right at that moment, another savage appears and is about to attack them. This time, Sakura is not able to defend properly and both of them are knocked out. Fortunately, Fritz, Riatia, and Amelia arrive and shoot the savage. Amelia finishes it with a blow, but the savage regenerates itself shortly. Suddenly, the three guys with yellow eyes appear and deal a severe blow to Hayato. After that, they easily defeat the savage and take out the savage's cores. Before they leave, they mention that they will take the cores to a woman named Vitaly. Back at school, Charlotte explains that they met poachers or hunters, who are also slayers but are part of illegal organizations that do not necessarily follow the law. Savage cores are almost like variable stones, as they both make hundreds. Before Sakura's concert, she gets very sad as she thinks that people like her songs only because they are infected by the variant virus and that's why her songs affect them. Hayato contradicts her, explaining that he was not a variant when he heard her singing and her songs reached deep into his and Karen's hearts. She thanks him and expresses her love for him. After the successful concert, Sakura is about to leave promising that she would go back to see Hayato again. However, the next day she goes to Hayato's room. When Claire visits Hayato, she finds Sakura in his room. A moment later, Amelia is also in the room and everything gets complicated again. The students are enjoying their time off at the beach playing volleyball, sunbathing, and swimming. 
A helicopter arrives and Judar Harvey, the CEO of Warslarn, who is also Claire's brother, comes to pick Claire up. Later, when they are back in the little garden, Claire informs the Slayers about a savage cleanup operation to be performed under the guidance of the UN's Joint Operations Task Force, the Peacekeeping Army. Claire also informs them that they are officially joining the selections. This announcement is followed by the excitement of the Slayers. When they are about to leave, Judah finds Hayato in the hall and asks him to have a little chat with him. He takes him to a mysterious room to show a girl named Liza. He explains that while Liza is peacefully sleeping, she is the power source of the little garden and its supreme commander. She is also the first Slayer and variant created by mankind. Suddenly, Claire enters the room with a gun in her hand and threatens her brother for revealing the secret. This is when Judar explains to Claire that Hayato, having the divine blood, might be able to awaken Liza just as Sleeping Beauty is awakened from her eternal slumber due to the wake-up kiss. Hayato touches the capsule and tries to release his energy. However, it is not enough to wake Liza up. After this, Judar also claims that while Vitaly is alive, she will go after Liza to kill her. Wanting to prevent this, he wants to capture Vidali first. After Judah leaves, Hayato promises Claire to keep Liza's story a secret. Hayato and his friends then arrive at Chien Quan City, where a girl named Claudia Loewetti excitingly meets Amelia. Claudia calls Amelia princess, revealing that she is the princess of the Gutenberg. Claudia is trying hard to persuade her to return to the Empire, but Amelia declines because she wants to be with Hayato, causing a jealous Claudia to challenge him in a duel at a dojo. After he won the match against Claudia, Hayato and his friends are getting ready to take part in a mission altogether. Although Claudia is still angry with Hayato and wants to take Amelia back to their country, Claire warns her not to raise the topic again as Emile has decided to stay in the little garden. In the mountains, Claire and the Slayers finish many savages, but there are many more to be dealt with before leaving the mountain. They split into two groups and take turns to keep watch. While Hayato and Claire are on patrol at night, Claudia tricks them to go on a date. She tells them she saw some strange figure in the woods and asks them to check it. By doing so, Claudia is hoping to make Amelia jealous and take her back to their country. While in the woods, Hayato and Claire see a savage. Claire tries to contact Claudia to ask her to join, but there is a transmission error. Claire shoots and wounds it, but when she wants to finish it, she slips and falls down. When the savage is about to attack, Hayato saves her by finishing the savage. After this, Hayato and Claire arrive at a lake where she takes a bath and reveals to him how Lisa was born. The person in charge was their mother who ejected savage fluids into a fertilized egg and Lisa was born as a variant. As Lisa grew up, she exhibited extremely rare, abnormal talent as a slayer. However, one day she released a forbidden power in order to save Claire from a savage and ever since then, Lisa has been sleeping. Although she is sleeping, her body releases enough energy to power the little garden. Claire also tells Hayato that she is only the head of the little garden to keep an eye on Judah so that Lisa is not used as a tool. Hayato then receives a call from Fritz notifying that the three hunters attacked them and knocked everyone down. Claire arrives in time to save Fritz's squad. Demanding to stop fighting against the Slayers as their variant energy is not as strong as full-body armament, she promises to spare them in case they surrender and provide the information they possess about Vidali. Unfortunately, when the hunters start considering the offer, it starts raining, completely reducing Claire's powers. Taking this opportunity, the hunters attack Claire and defeat her. When they are about to give the final blow, the rest of the Slayers arrive for help. Now that they are five against three, Claire urges them to surrender one more time, which is turned down by the hunters. Amelia fights against two of the hunters, Nezet and Nakri, while Hayato is trying to fight with the boy, Kroven. When fighting against him, Hayato sees through Kroven's memories, how he was tortured with the girls in their childhood and how Vitali promised to set them free by injecting some yellow fluid. Suddenly, a dragoon-type savage appears and Kroven asks for a ceasefire. He suggests that he fights against the savage, but instead takes its core. He then tries to attack the savage, but creates a wide area barrier. Kroven keeps trying to reach its core, but he is unable to break the barrier. In fact, he gets knocked down by the savage. Meanwhile, Claire comes up with the idea of shooting all together to destroy the barrier. She asks the hunters to disable the jamming device so she can reach out to all the slayers. After the squad is ready for the attack, they start shooting, but it does not work. Charlotte calls Claire and says that Lisa wants Hayato and Claire to kiss so he can share his variant energy. By doing this, she would get injected and be more powerful. Hayato kisses her, after which Claire feels herself overflowing with power. She orders the Slayers to redo their long-range attacks, which results in the destruction of the barrier. After this, Hayato finishes the Savage with a blow and plunges into the water. Amelia then dives into the water and saves him. We see some coreless Savages attacking on Ailey and Wendy, two Slayers from Little Garden. After brainwashing the latter, Vitaly sends her to the Little Garden to realize her plan. 
Meanwhile, the three hunters are staying cooped up in the special underground facility of Little Garden. However, they refuse to provide any useful information. During a meeting with the Slayers, Claire informs them that Warzorn HQ's intelligence division found Vitaly's lab the other day. Leaving her lab, she also erase everything important. Claire orders everyone to tighten security so long as Vitaly remains on the loose. Claire also informs the Slayers that they are getting ready for the Garden's Festa, a school festival which celebrates the launching of the Little Garden. Sakura is also going to sing with a secret weapon. Also, as there are going to be many guests, the Students' Council orders additional automatic cleaning robots. After the meeting, Hayato follows Sakura, who goes to Charlotte's lab. Opening the door, Hayato sees Sakura, Karen, and Charlotte discussing something. Sakura reveals that Karen is her secret weapon, and that they are going to perform together. Karen then shows Hayato her own hundred, the divine card which enables her to jump and fly around. The second garden's festa begins with Claire's opening spec. On the festival's opening day presented by Claire with her welcome message to visitors. Before Sakura and Karen go to the stage, Judah and Hayato wish them luck. While Hayato and Amelia watch their performance, Vidali manages to get into the little garden with Wendy's help. Vidali listens to Karen's song somewhere and drops her cigarette before disappearing. An automated cleaning robot picks it up and flashes a red warning. As the celebrations go on, Claire is notified that one of the security officers, Wendy Velvet, was found unconscious near the staff gate. Although she does not have any obvious external wounds and has regained consciousness, it seems she has lost her memories. She is also talking about savages without cores. In the middle of the concert, a mecha appears in a form of a huge bee. When they try to kill it, it self-destroys. Another one appears near an electrical relay and wants to damage it. Claire orders to switch to emergency power, meanwhile sending all the security teams to destroy the B-types and help with the evacuation. Claire finds out that the mechas are transformed from automated cleaning robots. In the meantime, one of the mecha manages to sabotage the ship's air defense network for three transport planes to crash land on the deck. Moreover, the coreless savages also attack, leaving everyone shocked. This is when Claire understands that Vitaly was collecting all the savage cores in order to create those replicants, thus declaring a war on Warslarn. Claire wants to go to the battlefield, but her assistants stop her asking to stay in the lead. After that, Claire orders Erica to deal with the bees, Liddy to deal with the coreless savages, and Hayato and Emil to join the security for the three prisoners so that they do not fall on Vitaly's hands. Visiting the three hunters, Vitaly informs them that she attacked the little garden and offers them to join her. Crovin gets angry and disappointed. He refuses her offer, telling her that they do not want to hurt normal people. Having no choice, she turns on some awful sound to brainwash them. Mei Mei hurries to help the hunters, but she gets shot and witnesses how the hunters blindly follow Vitali. On the way to Lisa, a protective device restrains one of the hunters and she falls down. Without paying attention, they go forward until Mei Mei comes to rescue the hunters one more time. Shooting at Vitali's hand, she drops the control device. After this, the hunters get free from control. Shooting Mei Mei another time, Vitali runs away. She arrives at Lisa's location and gets confronted by Judah. She blames Judah for deceiving her. In order to take revenge on him, Vigali wants to kill Lisa and destroy Lil Garden. Shooting her, Judah kills her. Meanwhile, the replicants make some sound which does not let the Slayers do their job. However, Lisa, who has woken up thanks to Sakura's song, appears in front of Sakura and Karen asking them to sing their song. When they start singing, the Slayers regain their movements and are able to fight again. Hayato destroys the remaining replicant, but it is still alive. The three hunters get involved in fighting it, but in the process, while Crovin gets knocked out, Nezit uses her tracing ability to replicate the replicant, after which she loses control of her energy and causes a huge explosion. Claire wants to finish her, but Hayato saves her by communicating with her. After the fight, Lisa thanks Claire for defending Little Garden. In the end of the series, Hayato and Amelia kiss each other. Suddenly, everyone appears in the scene and sees them kiss. Claudia gets very angry and calls Amelia a princess, revealing her real identity. While everyone is shocked that Emil is actually a girl and a princess, Claire becomes jealous and shoots Hayato and Amelia with her weapon. 